The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Western High takes on Plantation High in tonight's semifinal of School Duel. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of School Duel, where roughly 50 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties compete to be a part of the show. The top 20 schools made it to the televised rounds, where they battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And the winners walk away with a school trophy from EDCO, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A, and of course, so much more. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the semifinal game has the Western Wildcats versus the Plantation Colonels in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the finals. So let's hear it for our two schools. <laughs> Exciting, but wait, because there's so much more. During the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Hear the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Sounds good? Yeah. All righty, well, let's get started. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here at School Against School, competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Now, each question is worth 10 points, and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school gets one chance to steal the points. Are my schools ready? Yes. All right. My audience sounds ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the warning shot. First question deals with innovators. The Detroit Museum named for him has a new exhibit called Driving America. Identify Joe. Henry Ford. Henry Ford is correct, good job. Starting the game off fast. Here we go with states. Its major college sports teams have mascots like the Mustangs, the Owls, the Cougars, the Red Raiders, and the Bears. Name this, yes, Adam. Texas. Texas is correct. Good job. <laughs> artist. Name this artist whose painting period included rose and blue. He was a co-creator of, yes, Adam? A Picasso. Correct. Good job. Next question, explorers. Name the Spanish explorer credited as the first European to see the east side of the Pacific Ocean. He also shares the same last name as Sylvester Stallone's Rocky. Yes, Joe. Balboa. Yes, correct. TV shows. Its main story is the development of a Broadway show about Marilyn Monroe. Name this NBC TV series that includes Deborah Messing and Angelica Houston. Alexis? Mash. Correct. Good job. The human body. Used for day vision, identify this type of proto-receptor cell that is sensitive to direct light, allows you to see colors, and shares its name. Yes, Brian. Cones. Cones is correct. Awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the where am I question. My contestants will be given a famous location and a clue, and then asked to tell us the name of the place being described. Is everyone ready? Yes. All right, here goes. It stretches between Ontario and Minnesota. Name this largest freshwater lake in the world that is the northernmost, yes, Joe? Lake Superior. Correct, good job. And the surface area of Lake Superior is greater than the combined areas of Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New Hampshire. Pretty big. Moving along to science. In 1932, British scientist James Chadwick wrote to Nature magazine about his experiments with radiation. Name the subatomic particle Chadwick had discovered that has a mass of one and a charge. Yes, Adam? Uh, proton. Incorrect. Western? Name the subatomic particle Chadwick had discovered that has a mass of one and a charge of zero. Joe? Neutron. Very good. All right, moving along to youth groups. Name this youth group begun in Savannah, Georgia by Daisy Lowe in 1912 that makes millions of dollars each year through Joe? Girl Scouts. Correct. Good job. Moving along to presidents, George Mason's Declaration of Rights for Virginia was a source for his draft of the Declaration of Independence. Yes, Daniel? Thomas Jefferson. Correct. Two word terms. You might feel it when moving from one country to another or even from one school. Adam? Jet lag. 
Incorrect. Western, listen carefully. You might feel it when moving from one country to another or even from one school to a school across town. Give the two-word term for this negative feeling of surprise. Yes, Asal? Homesick. Incorrect. It would be culture shock. All right, let's move on to government documents. You typically need one to legally run a business, collect sales taxes, practice your profession, or get married. Give the... Gabby? A license. Correct. Good job. <laughs> Geography. What U.S. state is bordered on the south by Iowa, on the east by Wisconsin, and on the west by the Dakotas, and has a state capital, Daniel? Wyoming. Incorrect. Listen, Western, the rest is yours. And on the west by the Dakotas, and has a state capital building in the city of St. Paul. Jacob? Minnesota. Correct. Good job. All right, let's move on to cards. Oh, that buzzer means the end to the warning shot round. We do have a close game. Western has 70, Plantation has 50, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. <laughs> iPad from School Duel and Bright Star Credit Union. It's easy. Go to schoolduel.tv. Submit the correct answer to the Bright Star question of the week, and you're automatically entered into the drawing to win an Apple iPad. You can also vote for the player of the game on schoolduel.tv. A new winner is announced each week based on your votes, and all votes lead to the top player of the season. Visit schoolduel.tv. Everyone is welcome to play and vote. Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Welcome back to School Duel. Our first round of action ended with Western leading 70 points to Plantation's 50 points. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's go ahead and start with the Western Wildcats. Welcome! <laughs> let's start off with Joe. Joe, you are a senior. And what college do you hope to attend? Uh, the uh, University of Sierra Leone at Freetown. <laughs> Okay, so you're going far, far away. All yeah, right. Study abroad. All right. Then we have Jacob, who is a senior as well, and your hopes for college? Uh, I hope to attend Georgetown University in the fall. Very nice. Next to you is Brian. You're a junior. You have some time, but where would you like to attend? Uh, Warden School of Business. Very nice. And the captain of Western's team is Asaf. You are a senior, and where do you plan on attending? Well, I'm not going to go to any institution that will have me, so the University of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now that we know you guys, let's go ahead and meet your competitors. They are the Plantation Colonels. <laughs> Starting off with Daniel, you're a senior, and your hopes for college to attend is Well, where? if everything looks right, then uh, hopefully I'll go to MIT. Very nice. And next to you is Gabby, and Gabby, you are a senior as well. And where mm. would you like to attend? Georgia Tech or Johns Hopkins. Very nice. Next to you is Alexis, a senior as well. And where would you like to attend? The University of Miami. Nice. So you're staying close to home. We like that. All right. And the captain of Plantation's team is Adam. Adam, you're a senior. Welcome. And where would you like to attend? Uh, I hope to attend Georgia Tech as well. Very nice. All right. Now that we know both teams, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust. Here, one player from each team competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point toss-up question. The player that wins then gets three bonus questions with their school, worth five, then 10, and then 15 points. All right, schools, are you ready? Yeah. Nice to know. It is time to joust. All right, Adam and Asaf, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. In earth science, what term describes how high above sea level something is, such as, yes, Asaf? Altitude. Altitude is correct. Western, these are your questions. The following bonus questions deal with earth science. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Name for a steady stream of water that flows in a definite path in an ocean or river. Brian? Current. Correct. Good job. 
Western bonus question number two worth 10 points. This is a measure of distance north or south of the equator. Joe. Latitude. Correct. Third bonus question worth 15 points. If a star is directly overhead, it has an altitude of how many degrees? Joe? 90. Yes, correct. Good job. All right, Brian, Alexis, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. On December 7, 2011, some 100 of its survivors gathered in Hawaii to mark its 70th. Yes, Alexis? Pearl Harbor. Correct. Good job. Plantation. Here are your toss-up questions. Here are your bonus questions, which all deal with Pearl Harbor. Bonus question number one is worth five points. The president at the time called the date of that attack, quote, a date, yes, Daniel? FDR. Nope, that was, that was incorrect. The president at the time called the date of that attack a date which will live in this. Answer is infamy. All right, bonus question number two is worth 10 points. Who was the U.S. president when Pearl Harbor was attacked? Daniel? FDR. There we go. All right, bonus question number three worth 15 points. This battleship, named for a U.S. state, is still underwater there. Daniel? Arizona. Correct. Very good. All right, Gabby and Jacob, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your thoughts of question worth 10 points. In written English, which common pronoun is always capitalized? Yes, Gabby. I. I is correct. Good job. Presentation, we are back with you and the following bonus questions all deal with English grammar. Bonus question number one is worth five points. This personal pronoun is used when talking second person. Gabby? You. Correct. Bonus question number two worth ten points. What part of speech modifies adjectives? Daniel? Adverb. Correct. Good job. Your third bonus question is worth 15 points. This is the form of we when used as a direct object. Alexis? Us? Yes, good job. All right, our last two competitors for this round is Daniel and Joe. Come on down. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. It was accidentally discovered in 1928 by a Scottish scientist who found it. Yes, Joe? Penicillin. Correct, good job. <laughs> all right, Western, the following bonus questions all deal with penicillin. Bonus question number one worth five points. Penicillin can still kill some versions of this bacteria that causes a severely sore throat. Joe? Strep. Correct. Good job. Second bonus question is worth 10 points. Here we go. Penicillin was produced in mass quantities to treat Allied troops in World War II and especially on June 6, 1944. This date is commonly known as what? Joe? D-Day. Yes. And your third bonus question is worth 15 points. Name the Scottish scientist who discovered penicillin. Joe? Alexander Fleming. Correct. Good job. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We do have Western leading with 150 points. Plantation, not too far behind them. They have 125 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> Are you interested in learning about TV production? Be a part of the Briar Teen News Team, South Florida's only team-produced news show. Experience working at an actual TV station while learning on state-of-the-art digital equipment. We offer positions in everything from studio crew to school reporter. And for the more experienced students, we offer advanced credits as part of our internship program. If you're a student in Broward and you want to be a part of our team, then we've got a spot for you. For more information, go to www.browardteennews.org and click on Join Our Team. Have you considered taking your high school courses online? Broward County Schools offers free virtual education for middle and high school. Courses include regular, honors, and advanced placement in all subject areas. Take one course or take a full course load all online. Broward Virtual Education welcomes homeschool and private school students. For more information or to enroll, call us at 754-321-1100 or visit us online at www.bved.net while there's still space available. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible.
local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school dual champion. Now this semi-final match has Western competing against Plantation. Western is holding on to its lead of 150 points over Plantation's 125 points. We are now ready for the rapid fire round. Here each school will receive a category. They will then try to answer 10 questions within 60 seconds from that given category. Each question is worth 10 points. The other school will then get a chance to steal any missed questions. Now, since Plantation is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category first. Today's choices are starts with N and starts with U. So which category would you like, Plantation? Uh, starts with you, please. Thank you, Adam. All right, schools, are you ready? Yes. All right. Here comes rapid fire. Plantation starts with U. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter U. Each question is worth 10 points, and you have 60 seconds to answer them. So cue music, and let's begin. Cord connecting a newborn baby to its mother. Umbilical cord. First name of U.S. President Grant. Useless. You sillies. Part of a cow you squeeze to get the milk out? Utters. Planet with many moons, named for Shakespeare characters? Uranus. Anti-slavery novel by Harriet Beecher Stowe? Uncle Tom's Cabin. Not carrying a weapon? Unarmed. Informal document acknowledging debt? Irish rock band featuring Bono and... You too. Electromagnetic radiation with waves shorter than those of visible... Ultraviolet. Adjective for someone unresponsive to waking up measures. Unconscious. All right, very good. All right, good job, Plantation. We got through all of your questions, minus two questions. So therefore, we are going to now give Western the opportunity to answer those two questions. However, one of the questions that you answered was very close, Daniel. It was first name of US President Grant. It's Ulysses. We heard the answer being said here in studio. So therefore, Western, we're going to give you a different question. You'll be able to get the points from that one. This European country's capital city is Kiev. <laughs> Kiev, yes, Brian. Ukraine. Very good. And the next question that was missed by Plantation, informal document acknowledging debt. Joe. An IOU. Correct. Good job. All right, Western, your category starts with N in this category. The answer contains a word that starts with the letter N. Remember, you do have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, cue music. Let's begin. Florence Nightingale was a famous one of these. Nurse. Center of an atom or of a cell. Neutron. Planet that fits the category. Neptune. French leader of early 1800s who attacked Russia. Napoleon. 450 divided by 50. Nine. Fourth book of the Old Testament. Numbers. Home of Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and the Lost Boys. Neverland. A Christmas scene with Mary, Jesus, Joseph, and animals. The Nativity. Canadian rock band known for the songs How You Remind Me and Rockstar. Nickelback. According to the old proverb, it is, quote, the mother of invention. Necessity. All right, good, guys. We got through all your questions. <laughs> Western, you only missed one question. Plantation, here's the question that they missed. Center of an atom or of a cell. Daniel? Nucleus. Very good. And we got through all of them. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that ends a rapid fire round. We do have Western leading with 260 points. Plantation has 215 points, but don't go anywhere. We're just gonna take a short break and then we'll be back for the final showdown. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. 
Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Semi-final match going as Western clings to its lead over Plantation. The score right now, 260 to 215. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points each. And remember, if a question is incorrect, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, it is time for the final showdown. <laughs> First question deals with art museums. The Whitney Museum of American Art, the Guggenheim Museum, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Yes, Asal? Modern Art. Incorrect. Listen carefully, Plantation. The, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art are all located in what major U.S. city? Daniel. New York City. Yes. Documents. It required King John to accept that he couldn't just punish people. Yes, Joe? The Magna Carta. Very good. Weather. Name this type of severe weather that usually begins near the Caribbean and sometimes travels up to the Gulf Coast of the United States. Joe? A hurricane. Yes. Fables. It comes from Aesop's fable about a fox who can't get something he wants and then pretends. Gabby? Grapes. Judges, yes. Okay. Children's Stories. Written by Ian Fleming. It was dedicated to a car built in 1920. Name this children's story subtitled The Magical Car about a car that can fly. Daniel? Herbie. Incorrect. Western? Will be chitty chitty bang bang. All right, body parts. What part of your body can be affected by the conditions glaucoma conjunct? Yes, Joe. Your eye. Yes, correct. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Who Am I question, brought to you by Hungry Howies and Davy and Hollywood. In this question, contestants will be given up to four clues about a famous person and asked to tell us his or her name. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Who am I? He was born September twenty third, nineteen forty nine. He has won 20 Grammy Awards, two Golden Globes, and an Academy Award. His exhibit at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is called From Asbury to the Promised Land. Yes, Joe? Bruce Springsteen. Correct. Good job. <laughs> Moving along to words. Give the three-letter prefix that can make new words when added to the words claim, long, pose, and test. Alexis? Pro. Pro is correct. Last names. Adults with this last name are usually called John or Jane. Give Yes, Joe. Doe. Joe is correct. U.S. cities. Identify this major U.S. city that is known as the city of brotherly love. Yes, Jacob. Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Broadway. Name this classical, classic Broadway musical about a group of dancers who sing songs like Nothing, I Hope I Get It, and What I Did for Love. And the last one, One. Asaf? Rent. Incorrect. Plantation? That would be a chorus line. Moving along to metals, mainly used now in jewelry, its popularity in photography has gone way down since people started using digital cameras. Name this precious metal that is the color of a quarter or a dime. Daniel. Silver. Yes. Classical stories. The 2012 Julia Roberts movie Mirror Mirror is a takeoff on what? Yes, Gabby? Snow White. Very good. Traveling shows. He bought and transformed a museum into a traveling show that included General Tom Thumb. Name this promoter who is best known today for the circus he ran. Yes, Joe? P.T. Barnum. Correct. Instruments. What common musical instrument's main types include steel, double neck, 12 string, acoustic, and electric? Daniel? Bass. Incorrect. Western Brian? Guitar. Yes. Winning films. It has been more than 80 years since a silent movie won the Oscar for Best Picture. Yes, Joe? The Artist. Correct. NFL. Name this football team in the NFL's AFC South that plays its game at Everbank Field in North... Yes, Jacob? The Jacksonville Jaguars. Correct. Authors. Name this British writer who was referred to as Joe by many of the actors who appeared in her movies about Harry Potter. Joe. J.K. Rowling. Correct. Amendments. Woodrow Wilson decided to support it after the U.S. entered World War I. Identify this constitutional amendment that was ratified in 1920 and granted women the right to vote. Jacob? The 19th Amendment. Correct. Good job. And that sound brings the end to the semifinal school duel match as Western pulls away 
ending with 500 points over Plantation's 315 points. And thank you very much. You guys did an amazing job. And the win puts Western into the finals. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, great job, everyone. This also brings the end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll, please, Joe from Western. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. Congratulations on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. At this time, we would like to thank our sponsors for making School Duel possible. And don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you at home will have a chance to win an Apple iPad, courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union. And as always, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel, Thursday at 7 p.m., as Coral Springs Charter takes on Shamanah Madonna in the next semifinal game. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.